What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about how to bulletproof your elbow and your wrist. So let's jump right in. This video is actually a video response to GingerCore69, so this one's for you, answering your question regarding if I had any exercises for my, well for elbows and for wrists, right? To bulletproof them. And that was because I made a video uh, one of my last videos was about how to bulletproof the knees. So I'm going to show you now some exercises on how to bulletproof the elbows here and the wrists. So these exercises that I'm going to show actually come from the new power program by Dr. Michael Colgan. I've mentioned this book and this offer before in other videos, but just to give you guys a quick recap, Dr. Colgan is a world-renowned research scientist that specializes in sports performance. Also, doctor meaning he's a PhD. So in my opinion, someone that's very credible. And so the first thing he says, okay, is that in order for you to essentially have these, these joints bulletproof, you have to have strong arms. Actually, he's just telling you how to get strong arms. But in my opinion, with my background and with my knowledge, you have to have strong arms. If you have strong arms, then you automatically bulletproof your elbow and your wrist. So now, how do you get your arms really strong? Well, you only focus on four muscles. So the bicep, the biceps, the triceps, and the brachialis and the brachioradialis. So those two, the, the two last ones that I just mentioned, those are the ones that really help to stabilize, right? So it's important that when you do your exercises that you do your exercises in a way that really works the muscle at its full range of motion and full extension. And that of course, like you want to put the emphasis on, you know, all of these four muscles, right? So I'm going to show you the exercises and no, first things first. One thing that he mentions that's very important is the two types of equipment that you need, right? So dumbbells and cables, that's the best for the arms, according to Dr. Colgan. And then from there, you can't wear any gloves. You have to use your bare hands when you're, when you're doing these exercises because by using your bare hands, you get to grab onto the bar, you get sensory input. So the kinesthetic input that you get is very important. And also you get better proprioception and you can really feel the bar. So when you're squeezing it, and that's one thing you have to do, you have to squeeze the bar hard. That's how you get a lot of muscle activation and feedback. And there's a principle called irradiation where with the harder you squeeze, the more all the other muscles have to activate to help you out, right? Now, one thing that I do personally is that I use these, these fat grips right here. And what this does is that by putting this onto the bar or the handle, okay, it makes it thicker. So by it being thicker, it's gonna force you to squeeze really hard. And by squeezing really hard, you're giving, of course you're activating more muscles, but you're giving a tremendous workout to your grip and your forearms at the same time. So this of course is, as a result, is gonna help you strengthen your, your wrists, right? All the little muscles surrounding it. So then you're gonna have a strong wrist. And also by doing the exercises the way that I'm going to show you, there's little, it's a, it's a question of tempo and of adding a little twist to the exercises. Like your wrist, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna get the workout that it needs. And, and these things here, it's just gonna make it so much, um, so much more better and harder. So, I'll put a link down below for these two, these two things here. They're called fat grips. If you guys are interested, these are actually two inch. I'm going to go buy some bigger ones because these ones don't seem to wrap around the bar, uh, all the way, not on all of the bars, some of the bars, it does that. Okay. So the first exercise that I want to show you guys, oh, let me start by saying that it's going to be six exercises. Okay. Free for the, uh, free for the biceps and free for the triceps. Now, when you do your bicep and tricep exercise, of course, the brachialis and the brachioradialis is going to be involved. 
Uh, if you guys don't know where that is, you guys could just look it up. But essentially what it is is that your, uh, your brachialis, right? The brachial, how do you say it? Radialis is right here. It, it's, it's somewhere here and then it comes up here like that, okay? And of course the brach brachialis is actually between your tricep and your bicep, somewhere here. And of course, on this side, it's somewhere here too. It's right like under the bicep. So it's kind of like, if you guys could see how I'm pinching my, my arm here, it's kind of like here. This is where the, uh, the brachialis is and the brachio brachy, brachy radialis is here. It actually goes all the way down. Both of them actually go all the way down uh, from your humerus to your, uh, to your forearm, okay? So that's why these muscles too are important because they, that's what stabilizes, right? And then of course, all the muscles in your hands and your forearm will help to stabilize the wrist. Okay, so where was I going with this? Oh yeah, just lesson in anatomy. So, Right, six exercises. Oh, by the way, if you, for those of you guys who don't know, if Chinese people, when you see them do this, it actually means six. It's not like uh, the waka waka thing, and it's not the I'm calling somebody. It's actually, you know, like if you go in, in a bar, and uh, a Chinese bar, and you go six, they ask you how many beers, and you go like that, it's six. Anyways, sorry about that. So six exercises, okay? Uh, three, like I said, for the bicep, three for the tricep. So we're doing supersets. So we're gonna do bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, right? So now the first exercise is the, um, the first pair of exercises. The first superset that you're gonna do is called a, is the, the bicep curl, standing bicep curl. Now what's different here is that I don't start, you see my hand here? It's not gonna be in this position, in a neutral position. You're gonna start off in pronation like this. And then from here, I want you to supinate the, the dumbbell. Supinate means turning it this way so your palm is facing forward. And then from there, you bring it up. When you bring it up, of course, you bring it up as fast as you can without breaking form. And then when you go down, that's when three seconds down, minimum, okay? And then when you come back down, twist it like this. Bring it back into pronation now bring it into supination and bring it up. Okay, and an interesting thing about this book is that you actually breathe, breathe very differently when you do these exercises. Because of the eccentric phase, that lasts much longer than the three times or more longer than the concentric phase. So eccentric, this is, you turn it like this, you come up, eccentric. Okay, when you go back down, eccentric, and this is slower. Okay, so the way you have to breathe is you actually have to breathe in on the way up. Watch, turn, you go. So it's actually very counterintuitive, right? Because we do the opposite normally, but you're gonna see that it allows you to go down, to, to maintain your strength as you go down eccentrically much, uh, much more effectively, so to speak. Okay, so you do, let's say 10 of those, right? So you're like this, boom, you come down, boom, you come down, you know? So you do 10 like that. Once you're done with that, you do tricep kickbacks. So right away, uh, imagine if I had a, what do you call it? A bench here and I'm leaning over. So now what I want you to do is, once again, you see, instead of having the grip like this, like most people do, I want you to turn your wrist like this, okay? So you're actually uh, supinated in this case. You're supinated and then you bring it up. So you do the kickback, but once you kick back, I want you to turn your wrist like this. And then from there you turn back, you come back down, and once again, you breathe in, and you exhale slowly on the way back down. So remember, this is how your, your wrist is. It's not like this, okay? It's actually like this. And then from here, if you can picture me all the way here, and then boom. Remember the twist at the end, 
okay? And to breathe the way I mentioned. So you're actually inhaling as you go up in this exercise and exhaling on the way down. Go down slowly. It's really, really important. Okay, so that's the superset. So you do here, boom. And when you're done, you know, you do your 10 reps, for example, you come down here and right away, boom. Okay, so that's one superset. Now, when you're done with that, you wait 60, 60 seconds, okay, so a minute, and we go on to the next one. So the next one here, we're gonna do a preacher curl. So the preacher curl, imagine my arm here was a uh, backrest where I could like lean it off, right? So the preacher curl here, what's good is that it's going to stop you from, from moving your, having your shoulder involved. So once I'm here, I bring it up, and at the end here, at the top, I want you to twist and then back down. Now the same concept. So you bring it up, you inhale on the way up. And then control it on the way down. When you're at the bottom here, okay, like your hand is, this, this is the position here, so it's supinated. And that's it for that one. So you do 10 of that. Once you finish that, now we get into the cable, right? So I actually have a rubber band with a handle, so that's gonna simulate a cable because I don't have a cable machine in my, in my place, though I, maybe one day, who knows? We'll see how this, uh, how this goes. So to do this cable machine here, you're actually squatting like this. And I'm gonna raise this arm, but it's really just to hold this this uh, this tube here. So you're outstretched like you're like this, and from here, once again, okay, I want your the, the, the hand position to be like this. Now you pull up, pull down, and then from here, I want you to turn. You always twist at the end. Okay? And the breathing is the same way, so you're actually Inhaling while you're contracting and then exhaling slowly on the eccentric phase as you're bringing it back, but you're bringing it back slow. So that's how this breathing pattern actually makes sense. Okay, so you do, let me grab the dumbbell here. You're here on your preacher curl. You bring it up, twist at the end, bring it back down. Okay, bring up twist at the end, remember to breathe correctly and to lower slowly, which is really important. If you don't do that, then you're, you're kind of wasting your time, really. So once you get, get done that, jump on your cable machine, and remember we're here, okay? And I actually like to curve it like this. And wait, let me just see for one second. Yeah, that's about right. So you're like this, you bring it down, and you twist. See what I mean? Okay, so that's the second superset. Once you're done with that, okay, now you wait 60 seconds. You go, you go to the last set, the last superset, the last pair of exercises. So if you could imagine this last pair of exercises here, right? You're gonna do a, you're gonna take a bench and then you're gonna incline it and you're gonna sit down and have the front of your body lean up against the, the backrest right here. And then you grab the cable, you, you tie a rope to the cable. So you tie a rope to the cable, you know those uh, uh, two handle ropes, tie it to the cable, grab it like this. So, you're, so imagine I'm sitting down and I'm leaning over and I'm just gonna back up, my hands are here and then this is your bicep workout, so you just pull it back. And then of course, you pull it back fast, and then on the eccentric part, you go slow. Okay, boom. So you do that, let's say 10 times, and you jump right to the next one, which is, you bring that little thingy majiggy down, and you still keep that rope. You move the, the bench, grab that thing, sorry, grab the, uh, the rope, attach the cable of course, come up like this, 
position yourself straight and extend here. So let me just look at one little detail. Yeah, that's it. The, the, for these last two here, it's really nothing special. There's nothing, no tweaking really involved because already with the rope, it's gonna allow you to extend, you see my wrist here, like that, for the tricep extension, but you're standing up, you're not on a bench here. So to recap the, the last two exercises, the first part of it is, let me see here, the bench that's inclined, right? Sit down, front of your body, leaning on the, uh, the backrest right here, grab the cable, okay, and bring it down. Slowly bring it back up, bring it down. This is your bicep, you do 10 of those, then you switch over to, right, the overhead uh, rope uh, tricep extension. So then you get rid of the bench, grab the, uh, grab the, the, the rope, attach the cable, swing it back up here, you're standing up right, and you're just kicking it out like that. Okay, so remember, and that's your last superset. So I hope that makes sense. So just to reiterate something important here, the tempo, the tempo is very important, right? The tempo meaning when you're on the effort, on the concentric part, okay, you go as fast as possible. And then when you go down, right, on, on the release, so to speak, you have to control that movement, make it slower, about three seconds, three seconds minimum. Now, the reason for that is that all the, 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 all the big gains are made in the eccentric phase, right? And the concentric phase, it's, you know, like you don't go slow, and the reason for that is because we're all athletes, martial artists, and you don't want to train to be slow. You want to be able to contract your muscles as hard as possible, as fast as possible. That's why we don't go slow when we're coming up like this. Let's say if we're doing the bicycle, we're not taking our time, right? We're bringing it up fast, obviously without cheating, and then it's on the descent. That's where the muscle is actually stretching, creating micro tears, and that's gonna lead to you know, muscle gain, strength gains, and size gain, if, you, if that's what you're, you're going for, right? So that's it for this video. I hope that was helpful. So if you enjoyed this or if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments, like the video, and of course share it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much, guys. Peace.